What's up, everyone, and welcome to another installment of Horns at Home, where we get to learn about our pronghorn athletes. My name is David Awoshaga. I am from the men's track and field team, and today I will be interviewing three members of the women's soccer team. So I'll start with some introductions first. So I'm going to start with Drew. My name is Drew Dortman. I'm a first year, and I'm majoring in neuroscience, and I play central midfield. Right on. And next, I'll have Kaylee go. Hi, I'm Kaylee Harris. Um, I'm a third year kinesiology student at the University of Lethbridge, and I play striker. Good, and that leaves Erin. Uh, I'm Erin Gill. Um, I'm in my fourth year of a math major for education, and I'm a goalkeeper. Right on. So we got a midfielder, a striker, and a goalkeeper. So my first question is for Drew, and I want to know why you chose to come to the University of Lethbridge. Um, so I just wanted to be close to home and I've been training with the U of L for probably three years now. Like I've known Kaylee and Erin now for their years at the U of L and it just seemed like a very smooth transition. And with the neuroscience being so popular as it is, it was almost a no brainer. Dude, right on, right on. So you're from Lethbridge then, hey? Yes, I am. Okay, not bad. How about you, Kaylee? What made you come to the University of Lethbridge? Um, well, I'm from Vancouver Island, um, and so I've never actually heard of Lethbridge before um, coming here. But um, yeah, I got scouted at a tournament that I was playing in, and um, the coaches invited me out to an ID camp out here. So I'd never been to Alberta before, didn't know about the winters or anything like that. So in February, it was kind of a shock coming here, but um, I fell in love with the girls on the team and the university. I really liked the layout of the university, and um, they had my program that I was interested in. And so, yeah, I thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> right on. Hopefully the wind hasn't caught you too off guard. That's wow. the <laughs> biggest thing you hear about when you come to Lethbridge. You're not ready for the cold, especially from Vancouver. Holy cow. It gets to like minus one and we're all like, oh my God, it's freezing. So <laughs> this minus 20, minus 24, a little bit of a shocker, but yeah. <laughs> hey, good for you. Jeez. And Aaron, what about you? Why'd you choose the University of Lethbridge? Um, I came here for the education program, and then getting to play soccer was just kind of a bonus. So, yeah, the education program here is, like, really amazing. And where'd you transfer here from? Uh, Red Deer College. I'm okay. from Red Deer. Right on. So we got some people from far and some people from who live right here. My next question, what, would, what is your funniest injury story? <laughs> Kaylee's, Kaylee's already laughing. You had a story for us, Kaylee? Can I have a story yeah. for us? <laughs> All right. So keep in mind, I was in elementary school and I was playing Survivor and I was getting chased and I'm very competitive, so I didn't want to lose. Anyways, I stuck my arm out to like grab a soccer pole to swing around it real quick because in my mind, like quick change of direction. <laughs> Great. Brilliant. Yeah. Slipped on a like grass, wet gla grass, nailed my elbow um, and dislocated and fractured my elbow. And all the kids were laughing at me because they thought it was hilarious, but I was like dying. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. No, no pole dancing in my future, that's for no, sure. No, the, the coordination just isn't there, eh? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Tough. Tough. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, okay. Yeah, that was, I was not ready for that one. Wow. Yeah, you, beat Kaylee. that, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, Pressure. what about you? Um, so this one, actually, David, maybe you can relate. Um, it was, I think, grade, I want to say like grade nine track and field. Okay. I was, I was talking with one of my friends and we were talking about how, hey, let's like, we don't want to run. We don't want to qualify for anything. Like, let's just, let's fall. Let's trip and fall. So obviously you're not going to trip. Nobody wants to trip and fall. Well, <laughs> Apparently, I didn't communicate that through the rest of my body. 100 meter sprint. I still have scars. Absolutely gruesome, like bleeding. But I did finish the race. I got up and kept going. I just had a couple burns all over me, but they had a really, really cute paramedic there that helped me out. <laughs> so it was good. Love that. <laughs> okay, Aaron. Can you top that? <laughs> I don't know, but um, so I do like a lot of stupid things. Like I like don't really think through what I'm doing when I do things. 
And so I was 14 and I had just made like Team Alberta for soccer. And I was so proud because I was the only like Red Deer person. I didn't know anyone else. And we were in a mall. I don't like, I think we were at the actual like tournament. So like it was a big deal. And I was like, okay, we're at the mall. And there was this escalator like going down. And I was like, oh yeah, you know what will impress them? Like running up this down escalator, oh, no. like 100%. And so mind you, I'm in flip flops. Like I'm like not thinking here. And so I'm like, guys, like we should run up this down escalator. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, I'm too scared. And I was like, I got this. And I like start running and I like make it almost all the way up into the top. But like, you know how they like start moving at the very top? Yeah. Well, like I tripped on that. No. <laughs> like, fell. And I have like gashes in my knee, like three little like little marks on my knee that you can still see. And I think the worst part about this was having to ride down the escalator, like <laughs> bleeding and just like so <laughs> embarrassed. So I was like, this did not impress them. <laughs> so yeah, that's, a, that's probably my stupidest injury so far. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Running. Hilarious. You know, I mean, again, we all think it. We all think it. We, we see going in the mall, we see the downward, like, yeah, you know, it'd be really cool. <laughs> but we are not all Aaron Gill. We're not all Aaron Gill, and for that I reason, don't suggest trying it, honestly. <laughs> no. It. PSA to everyone, it looks cool, not worth it. <laughs> don't try this at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks so much, guys. Um, that was really good. I learned a lot, and I hope you realize that I'm going to be making reference to these for a very long time. I'll just be yelling. <laughs> like, I'll, again, I see you guys at practice. I'll be like, watch out for the track, Drew. And, you know, it'll be... <laughs> Now, so this was really good. I learned a lot about you guys, and I hope the viewers did too. So thank you again for tuning in to Horns at Home, and a special thank you to Aaron, Kaylee, and Drew for joining us. So until next time, we're signing off.